Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Thank you so much for clicking this video. One, three, two, one, go. Alright, so the first part of this, um, before we actually get into Minecraft, I would absolutely recommend you downloading one of these clients. Vanilla Minecraft is good, but these make your PvP skills and just everything so much better. So, we have two of my favorites. We have Lunar Client. I'll link these both in the description as well with the other links. And then we have Badline Client. Now, both these clients do basically the same thing. Except, like, they... They have, uh, they show your clicks per second, they show your frames per second, they show what armor you have on, how many pots you have, all different settings, it'll be in there. But, I highly recommend Lunar Client more. Badline Client has more material stuff, like, uh, you can change your name color in chat. But Lunar Client actually adds to your gameplay. Lunar Client, so basically... There's, on these clients, there's clicks per second caps, which means you can't click, or it doesn't register the amount of clicks per second above a certain value. So let's say the cap is 15, and you're actually clicking 20, it'll only register in game 16. Lunar, so Badline Client, I believe, is around 12 clicks per second I could be wrong and lunar client lunar client has a higher cap so you can click faster per second more per second this is why I would go with this client it has a cap I believe of around 15 it's around that margin so I before we get into the anything I highly recommend you download one of these um I will link a video of how to download these down in the description. But before we do anything, I highly recommend you to download these. Next up, the settings that you'll want to have in the Lunar Client. Alright guys, so we're in game. We have our Lu Lunar Client um, set up and installed. So basically what you're going to want to do is you want to hit M that'll bring up all your basic lunar client settings so in lunar client depending on what you're playing you have the default you have your UHC your high pixel sky block this isn't very much PvP then your arena PvP if you're playing bed wars or something like sky wars or duels I recommend arena PvP it has the best default laid loadout for PvP and that's my opinion but you can customize your lay layout however you want so I'll show you that in a second so stuff that I recommend enabling there's are there's gonna be some default stuff some are gonna be optional CPS uh, isn't required but I, I, I just like to see how much, just so that I can practice, see how, how much CPS that I'm doing. FPS, I don't usually have this on because it takes up a little more space. But you can if you want. So I'll say if you want to move these around, you go over to Edit, HUD Layout. And you can like snap it on, put it wherever you want. I like to put it in the top left. Toggle, sneak slash sprint. This is auto enabled. Um, if it was off, that would mean if you hit shift once, it would keep you shift. Kind of like an Xbox. Keystrokes. I highly recommend doing uh, using this. Um, it honestly depends if you're streaming, I'd say, or not. Because they can see w what you're doing or if you're recording. Um, I, I think it's just a cool feature to have zoom. I highly recommend this too because um, Sorry, I got kicked. I got uh, put in AFK. You can zoom over and see their bed defenses In order when determining whether to attack or not armor status um, Isn't gonna help you in something like 
bed wars or well, it's not going to help you in any mode that doesn't that you can't break your armor in so it yeah, like in survival you can break your armor obviously and you would want to see what your armor is at and you, you won't have to go in your inventory so you could just look to the bottom right oh my armor's about to break or it's not that's a helpful feature but not so much on high pixel because most of the modes your armor can't break crosshair this gives you a custom crosshair as you can see you can pick whatever crosshair you want i don't personally use this coordinates i don't use this either um it's a little cool thing uh it's not it's it's like your basic coordinates I, something like this i wouldn't use it and takes up more space um distracts you because the numbers are going to be moving but yeah these are i don't recommend using this bed wars definitely potion counter um in something like duels where you'll have a lot of potions you want to be able to count how many potions you have left so that uh you know if you're in a battle and you know you're not going to be able to fight it without more potions you can back out if you don't have enough potions day counter uh this some of these are for normal survival. This is one of them. Day counter. It, it doesn't matter. It's Minecraft days. It's not real days. Potion effects. 100% recommend this. Because basically if you're if you're drinking a potion. Or if get in. It, so basically if you're drinking a potion. And like you either want to see what that potion is. Or you want to see how much time you have left. Which is really useful. And you don't want to go in your inventory. You can enable this and it will tell you. Weight points. Weight points are just. Uh, I'm not really sure what those are. Uh, a weight point obviously. It tells you how far away you are from something. Direction HUD. It tells you kind of basically your coordinates. Kind of like Fortnite. Like if you say look west to your teammate. They'll be able to look west. Um, the rest of these I'm not going to really go through. You can turn on turn off chat scoreboard. There, these aren't really that useful, in my op opinion. Shiny pots that just changes kind of the look of your pots. But yeah, there's some stuff you can disable and they won't take up as much space. You can make some things bigger or smaller. But that's about it in the lunar menu. Here's your settings and your waypoints. I want to be moving on to the actual PvP aspect. Alright guys, so as you can see, we don't have Minecraft up. Uh, right now, so, for PvP, you have the basic, you know, one click, alright? That's not going to get you much CPS. You want CPS so that you can just continuously hit. You can get as much hits as you can. And the other person might, probably going to be getting less than you. So, you want as much clicks as you can. This also does a lot more knockback I've seen. You just you keep on hitting them and they don't get a chance to hit back. That really helps you out in PvP. One good way to get good CPS and click fast like that I'm not, is called butterfly key clicking. Oh, that's what I call it, butterfly clicking. That's what I usually call it. Um, I'm not going to go on to jitter clicking because that's personally not what I use. So as you can see... We have my mouse right here. I'm just going to show you how to do it. Then I'm going to show you an example of me doing it in game. So, with butterfly key clicking. Butter key cl <laughs> Butterfly clicking. So, on obviously, usually you're going to have your mouse. You're going to have one finger on your right mouse key. Then you're going to have one finger on your left mouse key. Right? Well... So, for butterfly clicking, you're going to want to take the finger that is on the right side of your mouse. This one? See this one? All these other ones are gripping. We don't need this. These two main ones. We're going to take the one on the right. And in instead of, since we're not using that right one. Because we're PvPing, we're gonna take that and put them both on the left. Now, 
you have to be synchronized. You're going to be clicking just like it. You have to be clicking synchronized. You can't hit both of them at the same time. You have to go one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. And you might have to click your mouse kind of hard. You want to, one finger, that, you might be fast at that finger. But two fingers, that's like double the speed. This helps me get so much more CPS in my in my PvP. And it also lets you knock them back. Instead of that, you don't get a really chance to knock them back before they spring back up and hit you. With this, it's just spamming. They can't get a single hit in. So you're going to want to have your two fingers on your primary mouse, your attack button. And you're going to go one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Keep on practicing that until you get it down and you're confident with it to use it in battle. One, two, one, two. There. Just like that. And you are not going to have your two fingers on your mouse all the time. Obviously. You're not going to have it all the time. Uh, like if you're moving stuff around your inventory, you don't have to have them both on. Have it on whenever you're about to go in with PvP. That's... that's this this butterfly key clicking helped me out so much i used to have such low cps because i used to just click like this this butterfly key clicking it helped me so much so now i'm going to show you an example of this in game in the game i just want to show you okay so watch this is single finger i can get a good cps at around probably highest is seven or around five to six but if i do butterfly clicking i'm hitting 10 and 11 and i'm having a seven eight and nine average that's so much faster and i'll help you in battle look at that look how far i hit him the recording so we're just gonna do this in housing so this is called the butterfly defense. What, uh, beginning with it, don't worry, I'm, I'm in housing, I know. Uh, just so that I can do this easier. To begin with it, all right, you're gonna buy endstone, one thing endstone, 12 endstone. I'm gonna make this shape around your bed. Two on top, one on these sides, and then a two by two on these sides. So four. You're, then you're going to want to take your glass. And you are going to want to put it on top just like this. Over here just like this. And then you're going to want to leave two, these two blocks on each side with nothing on. The next layer you can do whatever block you want some people do wool but i like to do wood the reason i like to do wood is because you already have to use a pickaxe to get in here because the end stone but if you use wood they'll have to have both a pickaxe and an axe and it'll take longer for them to break in to get your bed so you're gonna want to put it all along here with the glass you need 16 so that's four Different things, so that's 48 iron total. So here's the bed defense I usually use. Uh, it takes long to get in. There's a lot of layers, and it can't be TNT because the glass and uh, the end stone helps out. So next, we're going to go over and do some speed bridging. So uh, let's just say, you know, you're building up, right? So to speed bridge, you know, basically what you're going to do I'm gonna do you're gonna wanna shift crouch or crouch place the block uncrouch walk to the end of the next block and place another block so I fell right there I'm a little rusty so let's do that again 
crouch. Okay. Turn one to crouch. Place a block. Walk without crouching to the end of that block. Crouch again and place another block. You have to kind of remember it in your brain. And eventually you'll get a hang of it. Cut. Alright, the next thing. Cut. Okay. Alright, so the next thing I want to focus on. So we're in a housing still. Uh, I know that. Let's say, okay, your base is right here, right? Right here's your base. You, you build over from your island, you know, build over, do your old thing. But whenever you get over, whenever you get to their island, if you're already still down there, build up so that you're hovering over their bed defense. We can get a little bit higher. You don't want to be about right over their bed defense. And you don't want to use your TNT. Oh, by the way, guys, uh, whenever you're raiding, make sure you have your TNT. I'm sorry, I forgot to mention that. Uh, also, make sure you have your pickaxe and your axe. We'll get on that later. Then you want to drop it right here. So, it, usually, it'll drop down. And it'll go on their base and it'll explode the whole bed. Another way of raiding it is you build over to the island. And usually there's, you know, the, the structure that's in the map that you can't break. You build up to there. And you wait for your teammates. If you have any. So you're right over the bed. But they can't get up here without building. And you can knock them down if they build up. Wait for your teammates. You come in. You fireball or TNT it. You go in. You hit them. You go in and you go through the layers. Break the bed. That's another way of raiding. Next, we're gonna, I'm going to go on to what to buy and what to not to buy. Alright guys. So basically, you're going to want... So I'm going to... Later in the video, discuss what is a fast resource map and what's a slow resource map. This is a fast resource map. You don't want to get so beginning. One person's going to be building defense, obviously, if and getting all the blocks they need, which I discussed before. So what you're going to want to do? I'm going to get this guy real quick. What you're going to want to do is go and get a stone sword and about a stack of blocks. That's five times you click that. So that's 20 iron for a stack of blocks. This is all you'll need to rush. Really, it, it'll help you in PvP and also... I'm probably going to die here. I did die. Um, it'll help you in PvP. And then again, you have enough blocks to get wherever you need. Almost wherever you need. Uh, to get to mid, it'll probably be a little bit more. And then if you raid, I recommend to bring a pickaxe, an axe, shears if you have enough iron, some extra iron, and bring TNT. So that you don't have to mine through all the layers while there's fighting going on. Now... Bed Wars is not all about PvP or building. Bed Wars is about being smart. Smart. Planning out what you're doing next. If it's a team that, let's say, you think has a sweaty name or, like, high levels. Or they have a high, uh, like, a expensive rank or something. That... That tells you probably not to mess up with them. At least not at the, not at the start until you get better stuff than them. Because they, they might be able to take you out very fast. 
Um, another thing is if they have way better stuff than you, which I, like you have the default armor and they have diamond armor, I recommend not to mess with them because again, you'll most likely lose that fight unless you're great at PvP. Like technically great. Um, maybe not that. Uh, and then if they have a good bed defense, be smart. I mean, if it if it's that good, you're not that good at raiding then don't don't rush it uh, or, or rush try to find beds that have one layer or not that good of a bed defense then you'll be able to easily knock out a better two so that was this is nearing the end of the tutorial thank you so much guys for watching not done yet though cut okay so guys, uh, as I was speaking about earlier, here are the maps that you might want to play or uh, get a lot of loot, uh, get a lot of stuff in fast. Uh, those are the ones you'll be able to do that in. So fast means you'll get your resources fast. You'll get your iron, gold, those type of resources fast. Your basic resources. Here are the maps that have that. It'll tell you the map whenever you get into it. Amazon Ashfire. I'm not going to read them all. I'll link this down in the description. And then here are the slow resource maps. Again, I'll link this thread down in the description. I really want to thank you a lot. <laughs> There's a sign that says thanks right here. I really want to thank you guys a lot for watching this video. I really appreciate it. It took me very long to record. I had to re-record some stuff. And... It's going to take me very long to edit. Oh, look, they're making sky based on there. Um, if I re would really appreciate if you liked and subscribed. It's free. If you liked the video, feel free to like. If you didn't like the video, again, feel free to like. It's free. If you want to go check out my Twitch, I stream very often on there. All different types of games. That'll be linked down in the description, so my second channel and my fan discord. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully my tips made you a better Bed Wars player, and I hope to see you around Hypixel. Bye.